Oh. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna go on another trip, and I'm going old school this time. We have the Ram McNally Road Atlas. This is about where we are here. Today we're gonna meander up 421 through Boone, go up to a little place called Roan Mountain. Lynn and I have spent a lot of time up there and we really love it there. We can drive up to the top of it and get on the Appalachian Trail and it should be a really good time. And then when we finish with that, we're gonna go, let's see, I gotta, I gotta turn, turn the page here. Crazy, crazy. Here it is, I found it first time. We're gonna be way over here and then we're gonna drive all the way through Knoxville and end up in Nashville, Tennessee and listen to some music out on Broadway Street for a while and then we're going to head back through Asheville and see a couple friends there then we're going to head back home. Should be about an eight day trip in the Winnebago Travado. We're glad you're along with us. Let's go for a ride. I'm almost packed. These e-bags are awesome. I got to tell you that I'm almost finished packing. I put all my crap in it upstairs and fold it up really neatly. And then I can come in here and I can put it right in the storage area that's designated for me and I'm ready to go. See you down the road. So we made it to Roan Mountain State Park. This is a great place. Lynn and I have stayed here maybe three times before. We usually stay up on top of the hill and later we'll show you what that means. But this time, we were able to stay here on the stream that runs through the campground. And it's a lot better. We love this. The sound of the stream going by and the water, it's just perfect. Forever young. Let's change. So here we have the tools of the trade made even better. Cream soda, cold drink, cheese and crackers. What do you think Maggie? Cheese and crackers. So I'm sitting here and I picked up a little hitchhiker. Is it a hitchhiker if you're not going anywhere? He's going pretty freaking fast. I'm not going in. You're not. I might want to ride him. Hey, where are you going? I wonder where you'll end up. In the ground in a minute. On the ground. I what he eats. Not me. So we forgot to bring Maggie's chair. <laughs> She didn't like not having a chair. She hates not having a chair, doesn't she? She wants to have her own chair at a campsite. She doesn't like laying on the ground. Mine's full, puppy. So we had the classic hamburger with vegetables meal and aluminum foil going right now, being cooked beside of the fire. We were just sitting here by the water, and enjoying the view and the, the warmth of the fire. Hope it's good. Yeah, it will. I hope it cooks before in the morning. I woke up this morning feeling a little guilty. We woke up beside of this really, really, really beautiful mountain stream. And it's just awesome to wake up and hear that as you wake up. But I feel guilty because we're out here enjoying this. And there's so many others from North Carolina that are suffering because of water. 
there's been so much flooding and so many deaths and so many people put out of their homes and dreams completely shattered because of Hurricane Florence and because of the water and the floods that have come from that. My heart breaks when I think about that and when I think about our beautiful coast and what it looks like right now. We originally were going to go to the Outer Banks, but it just didn't work out that we could make it there with the hurricane. So we headed instead to the mountains of Tennessee, and that's where we are now. I'm sitting beside of a little mountain stream in Roan Mountain State Park. But I'm thinking about my fellow North Carolinians that are suffering from water in their homes and they can't drive on the roads and the things that happen when, when, when disaster strikes. We, we know we're fortunate, and we all are in a lot of ways, we're fortunate to live in this country and have the freedom to do what we want to do. But sometimes I feel guilty that we're able to enjoy the pleasures of being able to camp like this and be able to see the things we see when others are, are suffering. Do you, do you ever feel the same way? I, I bet you do. I, I know Lynn feels the same way. We talk about that a lot. But, but then again, you don't want to just stay home and not do anything. You don't want to just lock yourself away. We thought about going to the coast and trying to help, but I'm not sure what kind of help two old people can be in the middle of a disaster like that. The last thing they need are two different people to have to take care of. So, so we're here. Beautiful surroundings. Just love waking up beside of beautiful places like this. Whether you camp in a, in a camper van like we do, or we're in a big fifth wheel, in a motor home, or even if you're in a tent, the best part about being able to camp is to wake up in places like this. We were walking around this morning and that's what one of the guys said that was in a tent. And I just, you wake up and just go, wow, it's the best thing, isn't it? Man, it is snowing. Other than the power line. It always does like that. Smoke detectors right over the kitchen. So I guess when you come to the rhododendron garden at Roan Mountain in September, when you know they're not gonna be blooming, um, you can be the only car, or in our case, camper van, in the parking lot. We have this park to ourselves today. And we're going to enjoy it. Even if you don't. Is there anyone there? Clear lens and flash, take a photo Strangers talking in the night One looks away for a moment, collecting his thoughts Finally made up his mind So some of the trails are really grown over. We've noticed that as we're walking through here, but You've seen the video of Lynn climbing down the side of a cliff at Acadia. You know that's not gonna stop her. So off we keep going. Good on, good on Christmas tree, anyone? Out in the middle of the wild and bigger ones over there. Your own mountain gardens. Wow. Is there anyone there? Clear lens and flash, take a photo of angels standing open. So I guess a downside to not so many people coming during the 
early fall before the leaves start turning. I imagine it'll get busy again once the leaves start changing here, but I guess the downside is, yeah, the downside is that it's pretty grown up in places. So we're near the end of September here in the mountains, Rhone Mountain, Tennessee. The leaves have already started to change and fall. Really pretty. So as you travel on this trail, you notice that there's lots and lots and lots and lots of moss. This is part of the Cherokee National Forest and it's known as the Rhone Mountain Garden. And just about everywhere you look, even in the fall like this, there's something beautiful to look at, something beautiful to behold. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Take a breath, let it go. There's a spark inside. I can feel it. I'm alive. I'm alive. You're in Tennessee, right? <laughs> Maggie's in North Carolina. We're in two different states. So Lynn and I are hiking a portion of the Appalachian Trail. About as high as you can go in Tennessee. It's so much cooler when you get in the shade. <laughs> This is it, isn't it? This is it. This is all we have to do. So we're sitting here. What are we arguing about? Are we going to go all the way to the top of this thing? I think so. Are you crazy? No, I want to be able to see the 360 view. It's beautiful. Up I'll send the drone up. We've already done that. We've got the drone footage. Don't look back, we're on our way. Today is a good, good day. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, Ron, what are you going to do?
Music. <laughs>